Hi everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. So I'm coming on to do some painty papers which have been inspired by Crafting Vicky and it's also item 77 off my 100 thing challenge. So I'm basically, um, I've only got three colours of paints and she put paper and stuff on them and I just thought I'd come on and have a play. So let me just get my paints out. So we've got blue. These are Do Craft paints. Uh, the blue and green are, um, think of it in a minute, are metallic. And the purple is just like an ordinary one. Oh, crumbs, I've used a lot of green there. Uh, I'm just thinking, do I want to spray them to water them down? And yeah, she used, um, business envelopes. I've only got the small ones that you send back so I've already opened them up and yeah I thought I'd just come on have a play and then next to me I've got tissue papers and I think she made borders and things out of them. So this one I'm going to go I've got three different brushes so I'm going to go a bit bluey here this is, that's an actual RSPCA one, so I put my brushes there. And yet again, I've protected my mat. In fact, let's just have a bit of purple. I'm not worried about the colours mixing. It's just covering your um, pages, really, and um, having some fun again. I probably should have had older clothes on, but never mind. Right, okay, so I'll actually add some green in there. Let's just have everything. <laughs> yeah, so I really do need to get some more colours of paint because even though I like these colours, I am getting a bit fed up of them now because <laughs> it's the only colours I've got. Um, she did stamp on hers and stuff, but I don't think I'm going to do that, I might do. I'd forgotten that until I got going. Right, okay. So let's give this a blast with the gun. Please go and check Crafting Vicky out. She's um, really lovely. She does loads of mixed media and stuff. I'm on dry. Why is it when you want things to dry, they don't, and when you don't, they do, so... Right, okay, so I'm going to move that. I'm actually going to put, because I've already coloured my Mod Podge um, bluey. I thought I'll tip some in there this time, but I will just clean it off a bit so it doesn't get stuck. I think Vicky uses a gel medium so I haven't got anything like that right yeah my Mod Podge has gone a bit bluey from the last project okay so what have I got over here I've sort of spread I'll put those in there because I don't need them and I can pop that there and then I'm not stretching so far so yeah she just put random bits of um paper and stuff down I thought I'll just rip some up and then she made th she made them into fun borders or ATCs and things like that. I mean I've got um oh, crumbs, something's gone on the floor. I'll get it in a minute. So I'm just separating the napkins so so I now know how to do this. So yeah, I've got a napkin that was given to me a while ago. And I'll just grab what I put on the floor, hopefully without falling off the chair, because that could be my party piece. So let's get some of this napkin as well. Yeah, I'm not sure who gave me this, but it's got lovely um, green flowers on and things. Right, okay, so we've got a little bit of stuff. So let's see how we get on. Yeah, mine are like the... Um, you know, the DL sort of size um, when you send payments back. 
So that's the size of my envelopes. Um, and I keep forgetting I've got this palette because I normally use like this paper for my um, palette and stuff. And I think, no, I mustn't keep doing that. Well, I could. It's not drastic, is it? So I've got all these mixtures of um, different papers and things. But it was just so fun watching um, see. It's not totally dry again. That's why I tipped the Mod Podge out because I don't really want to keep colouring my um, Mod Podge, <laughs> you know, in the actual thing. But yeah, she um, stamped on top of hers and what have you. But um, I haven't really got background stamps. I've only really got one, and I thought, well, I don't really want that on everything. I don't mind having a mixture of paper so these might go like as backgrounds for um ATCs and oops that's not going to stick there is it ATCs and things like that in the future I'm not sure but I just thought they'd be fun to come on and make some painty papers I want a bit more napkin I think I'm gonna have to tip some more um paint out Oh, that is fun. I might not paint this. Tip some more. Glue out. Ooh, crumbs. We did tip some out, didn't we? Right. Um, what else have I got that I could pop on there? I have even got paper. Ah, I've got some tissue paper. Let's have a bit of that. I didn't have that before. So, yeah, don't mind. Um... Yeah, just her, uh, if you want to, oh crumbs, sorry my speech is gone again, I'm getting a lot of brain fogs at the moment, so um, I'm going to be early to bed for me and sleep hopefully. Right, let's have a bit more of that. Right, where should we put that? So yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, <laughs> whether they'll be ATC backers or... um. Might do them as borders, like painty borders. I think that'd be quite fun, like to then add into projects and stuff. So I'm gonna call um call that one done. So I'm just gonna move it to somewhere to dry. So I'll be back in a sec. I don't know where I'm gonna put stuff to dry once my wall shelf's full. <laughs> because that's where I'm sort of putting stuff at the moment. Right, let's get another envelope. Right, back. Let's put that over there. So back to the paint. Right. Let's start purple this time. I might just have a purple and um, green one. I think Vicky um, put the paint straight on the paper. So, right, so we've got that. Let's have some green now. And she used um, a credit card to um, put stuff out and, you know, spread it out and stuff. And that was quite like an old credit card, obviously, not her brand new one. I think that would have been a bit um, drastic, that. Right. Need some more green. Um, yeah, when I wash this palette out, it certainly goes colourful. The sink looks... Um, very um, out there, <laughs> but so I just think it's great just to splodge some paint out and glue some paper on top because I know secretly quite a lot of you out there like to do that. <laughs> it's not just me, right? So let's get the heat gun again just to give that a bit of a blast. That's why I've gone quite thin with the paint. Um, so hopefully it doesn't take too long to dry. So I'm glad I watched this video. Thank you, Vicky. It's um, been great fun to get all messy and just get some paints and use some bits up and from my stash. Another idea to knock off my hundred thing challenge. So um, thank you very much. I keep seeing people do these postcard um, things as well, so I might do that somewhere. Just trying to find time, so I've had some more um, appointments 
crop happen. I think that's all I ever say to you. I've got another appointment. <laughs> but I know the rest of you with like health problems will know it's just how life is. Right. I'm going to use some of this. So let's make this little pile of bits again. And get gluey. Yeah, so I um, try and make sure I get the corners done because I know that's something I forget. So I try to make sure I've gone well over. Well over, that doesn't make sense, does it? That wasn't good English, well over. So I've been watching the soaps and um, not... <laughs> Yeah, I'm quite into my soaps. I didn't used to be, and then when Mum stayed with me for a little while, off and on throughout the winter, um, I sort of got into my soaps again, so I've been watching, watching that. See, that bit of paint wasn't dry, but it adds to it all. I think it adds to the fun. Um, what else have we got? So we've got this tissue paper. I think this came with the pair of shoes I've got, yeah. I think it came with my hotter shoes that I um, got last year in their sale. It's not easy to tear, it's actually quite stiff. Well, not stiff, but it's tricky. Right, let's put a... Oh, get off. <laughs> it's alive, it's alive. Yeah, so I've been watching the soaps. Oh, and I watched a really good series on um, Netflix. Um, I finished it because I sort of binged watched it over a few days called rain and it was i found it really good i don't know if it's everybody's cup of tea it's sort of um a little bit sci-fi but not it's about like this poisonous rain and things like that i won't give anything away in case nobody's finished watching it but yeah i enjoyed that series so i hope it comes back next year right, let's have a bit of this pinky paper if we haven't got any of that Um, yeah, I do like my Netflix. It's very handy when I can't do a lot and I have to just sit and rest. But at least my crochet gets done. But my crochet's been a bit slow. Normally, I can get a scarf um, done fairly within a week, this particular pattern. And I've just been really struggling this time to get it done. Um, I think when my blood went a bit funny again, I struggled there because it was a bit painful to do. Um, yeah, just really struggling. And then we had, we've had like a warm May in the UK, so I think that sort of put me off a bit. Right, do I want any more now? Actually, I might try this and do a little bit of stamping on this one, and then I've got a mixture, so um, I'm just going to give this a dry. Be nice to have one that's got a little bit of stamping on or something. Uh, actually, no, I'm not going to do stamping. I can always add stamping um, when it's on a finished project or something. It's quite nice using up these envelopes. Right, so I'll do one more on camera and then I'm going to leave you all alone. And plus I'm getting a bit tired. I could do with a drink and a sit down. So let's do this one. Oh, I've got a brownie one this time. Right, so let's do blue and green this time. get all that blue out and then I won't be wasting too much then. I do put like the extra paint on um, little notepads and you know the scrap bits of paper I got lying around. Right so that's blue and then we're going to have green. Oh, have I got any green left? Yes I have. Actually I might put this a little bit on Rather than, because I can't, there's not much left in the palette, so 
Oh, and having the two metallics together, very nice. Yeah, I do like that. Very much my colours. I don't want a bit of blue in there again because I've lost that. So let's put a bit there, a bit there. And spread that in. That goes on differently um, on the brown paper. It must be something in the paper. Oh, I think I put a bit too much blue down there. Oh well, hey ho. I still see some of the green. <laughs> oh god dear me. Please don't say I'm the only one that gets this messy and um no I know I'm not. <laughs> I know. Oh dear. That was certainly um quite a bit of blue I put down there. So that'd be a blue page then, a bluey green page. I am literally, I thought I've got some messy projects of what I do, so I thought I might as well do them all in one day. And yeah, I'm pretty messy. Right, glue, I'm not glue gum, heat gum. So I really wanted blue, I didn't want any green, not really. <laughs> oh. Oh, I've got a beautiful shine. Yeah, get some more of the metallics, definitely. They're lovely. Right, that's hurting my arm, so we will stop with that. Right, paper time. I want to use some more of this tissue because I like how that looks. Okay, quite a big bit there. Um, how am I doing on the glue? I might have to put some more glue in there again. All right, so let's put this big strip here just because we can. So everything's going to be very bluey tinged on this page, I can see that. Right, so I do need a bit more. I won't go mad because obviously, like I said, this is my um, last one. Oops, didn't clean the side of that then, naughty me. Smack bun for me on that one. <laughs> right, so I've got that. Right, let's use up these bits of paper that I've already got. Torn. So yeah, what are you lot up to? Are you getting messy? Are you doing journals? You know, what sort of projects are you up to? I mean, it's been a gorgeous day here today. It's been so pretty, um, nice and warm. Better than those couple of days we had with all that drizzle. Right, I don't want any more of those colours, but we won't get rid of them. They just go in the junky box. Let's have some of this text paper. I can get that in everything. Ah, cave. So let's put some of this down. See that paper's a bit thick I think. It will, it will stick. Ooh, I've just taken some paint off that. Hey ho, didn't want to do that but never mind. Ah, it's sticking to me now. And let's put this here. So I quite like that going um, over the papers that I've put down. It's quite nice having that come through. Well, I like it. Yeah, so I will just say your pages will get very, um, if they're not thick, they will sort of get a bit floppy. But once they're dry, they'll be fine. Right, I want something across there. Let's have some of this napkin. some of this and we'll have some of that going across the top I think. That'll be quite nice there. 
looks good to me and it's sort of got the colours of the paper I've already got in. It's crumpled a bit but it'll add to the texture of what I'm doing. Right, should we have a little bit more of that? Let's use up this last bit. I'll get rid of that bit there because it's quite plain. I don't know where I'm going to put this. I have no idea. Oh, okay, there then. <laughs> if that's where you want to go, that's where you can go. I don't mind. <laughs> Hope the viewers don't. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I definitely need a drink. Um, right, so that was me pay playing with painty papers inspired by... Um, Crafting Vicky, so I hope you enjoyed and if you're going to do do this, please let me know because I'd love to see. So I'm going to have another clean up, that's all I seem to have done today and I'll see you again somewhere. Bye!